A World War II veteran's Purple Heart is back with his family here in Indianapolis tonight. The medal was lost for years before it finally turned up in Florida. As our Alan Carter shows us, a national nonprofit group was determined to get that medal back to family. So this has about, been about two years in the making. It's already been quite a journey getting to this point. Yeah, come on. Jessica Jaggers returns valor for a living. I think every family is very different. Every return is very different. Um, and I couldn't be more grateful to be in the position I am. Hi. Hi. How are you? Saturday, walking into the home of Dan and Leanne Bowden, bringing with her a piece of their family's history. United, I know it's been a long journey for you and a long probably three years to get this back yeah. and I'm completely honored uh, to present this to you and your family and I want to thank you for honoring his service and sacrifice and without further ado. <laughs> thank you very much. The Purple Heart belonging to Dan's uncle Paul Bowden who served in World War II. It was after the war was over and he had uh, been killed in Belgium. His purple heart bounced around the family until it was lost. So this medal was actually found in Florida and was sent to us anonymously by a gentleman in Florida. We, besides talking to the family, we don't necessarily know exactly how it ended up in this gentleman's hands. You know, my memory of uh, my grandma showing it to me as a kid and then, and then now it's finally back. It's, it's really, uh, really exciting. Yeah. Purple Hearts Reunited estimates there are about a thousand medals lost and separated. Their mission to get them all back. It's really a wonderful thing that they they do, and they they cleaned it up and they framed it. One family at a time. Families is really, really spectacular. In Indianapolis, Alan Carter, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. So thrilled for that family. The nonprofit, by the way, Purple Heart Reunited, returns stolen and misplaced medals of valor to veterans all across the country. In fact, this weekend alone, they brought four medals to families in both Indiana and in Ohio.